telling you, I think you should forget about her. I think Caroline was right. They are gold diggers. How can you say that, Will? Dude, I saw it in her bedroom. Her number one goal is to marry someone rich. They all see you going puppy-eyed over her. That buffoon Collins even told me that you guys were about to get married. Wow, are you sure? Dude, I'm positive. I wouldn't say something to upset you if I didn't really believe it to be true. But it was there, plain as day. I guess it was always too much to think a girl as beautiful and awesome and sweet as Jane would be truly interested in me. Besides, the whole family is crass. Do you really want to be involved with that? Were we not at the same dinner party? Well, I'm sure it was just a bad night for them. Listen, forget about her. Let's do this Stanford on Wall Street thing for the rest of the school year. It would be good for us to go live in New York for a while and experience life there. What do you say? I... Sure, I guess. If you think that's a good idea. I do. You'll be in a new environment. And who knows? Someone else might come along. Okay. I'll tell Caroline to go apartment hunting for us in New York. She loves that kind of thing anyway. Good man. I have to say, I've never been so ashamed of my family as I was tonight. No wonder Will and Charlie took off like, like they were being chased. Ugh, Jane, I have to confess something to you. What is it? I think it was partially my fault that they left the way they did. Your fault? Why in the world would you say that? Will and I kind of had a fight. A fight? What fight? He came into the attic to get me for dinner, and he looked at my work and said some nice things about my designs. Okay, so far so good. Then he offered to help launch my fashion design career, and I kind of brought up George Wee and how he had backstabbed him. <gasps> you didn't! What did he say? He wasn't happy about it, that's for sure. He didn't say much, just that I didn't understand anything. But I could tell he was mad, and I'm sure that fed into him wanting to leave so abruptly after dinner. Oh, Liz, I don't think it was your fault. But I also don't think you should comment on things you don't fully know about either. There's probably more there than meets the eye. But how could George Wee just make something like that up? He's so nice, and Will is so hateful and stuck up and arrogant. I can just tell about people, Jane. I've always been able to. I don't know. I'm just saying you should keep an open mind until you hear both sides of the story. And no, I don't think it was you who drove him away. He would have left right away if he'd been that angry. Oh, Jane, I feel awful about ruining your night with Charlie. It wasn't you, Liz. It was Cat and Mary fighting like rabid dogs. That would send anyone scurrying. I'm sure Uncle Collins' social graces didn't help much either. What's that saying? You can pick your nose, but you can't pick your relatives. <laughs> I don't know if that's the saying, Jane, but we'll go with that. Ami Tuafua. Ami Tuafua. Ami Tuafua. I'm e Hey, Mom, why do you keep these old records around? Really? But you talk about your marriage to Dad like it was a terrible thing. Well, then how come you didn't marry someone rich then, Mama? Aha, so you admit that you did love Dad. Mama, have you considered that we might be able to stand on our own feet? Good morning, Lily. Can I talk to you for a second? Uncle Collins, we're not even dressed yet. Oh, I know, and I hope you'll pardon the intrusion. But I have something really important to discuss with your mother. Uh, yeah. Is it okay if I sit here? Well, I was hoping to speak to you privately. Do you mind if we stay in here? Ew, gross. Okay, 
I'll see you later, Mama. I was thinking, I had an idea about how you could repay me the loan without giving me the money. Well, I really have enjoyed my stay here in America, and I think I'd like to remain here permanently. Yes, but obviously I will need to find some way of earning an income, so I'll need a green card. And that's what you could help me with, Lily. Well, in order for me to be able to live and work here in the United States, I need a green card. And the fastest way for me to get a green card is to marry a U.S. citizen. Oh, now I understand. So what do you say? We get married, I get a green card, and then we part ways, and I forgive you the loan. But I'm not a U.S. citizen. What? You're not a citizen? I'm not. I'm busy. I'm too busy. I What about your late husband, Jack? Did he become a citizen? Yes, he came to the U.S. Hmm. Then perhaps one of them would agree to a green card marriage? But Mary, Catherine, and Lydia are too small. They are not yet from high school. Then how about one of the two eldest? You already know Jane and Charlie Bing's situation. Yes. Then of course not Jane. So that leaves... Liz! You can marry with Liz. Oh, this is so good. I'm so happy for your support, Lily. Do you think she'll agree? Of course. She will agree. Well, when should we talk to her? Now. Let's go to her now. 快点走啊！呃、uh, ，OK， I'm right behind you.